Hey guys, what is up? It is SSD Middleman here with Guides for Us All, and today I'm going to be walking you through the new quest, Sands of Inaros in Warframe. I'll try to remain as spoiler-free as possible, so let's get started. To begin the quest, you will need to buy the quest blueprint from Barrow Katir, who can be located at the Saturn Relay currently, that might change in the future. Nevertheless, find him and buy the blueprint from him for 200 ducats and 50,000 credits. Now return to your ship and craft the quest blueprint. To do this, you will need 5,000 nanospores, 400 oxium, and a nitane extract. Ugh, nitane extract. Uh, once you're finished crafting that, go to your codex and begin the quest. You will receive a message from Barrow Katir letting you know he thinks he has found some treasure hidden inside of a tomb on Phobos. So, of course, head to Phobos and you will find the tomb. I think the tomb looks really cool and there's a nice atmosphere, a little bit of creepy ambience. Nevertheless, go inside and you will find a sacred vessel, and once you extract, you will also get the Inaros blueprint. Now, once you go back to your ship, you'll see a little cutscene. Just go past that, go to your gear section in the arsenal, and equip the sacred vessel. Now, you're going to want to look at the side of your sacred vessel, and there will be an image of an enemy type's face on the vessel. You will need to kill that type of enemy with the sacred vessel equipped until it fills up all the way. Now, it's a little confusing as to what enemies you need to fight. Uh, the ones that I've seen uh, certain people have are Seekers, the Hayeka Masters, Bursas, Broodmothers, the Juggernaut, Railgun Moas, and there, I'm sure there are more, but that should give you a general idea if you're confused about which enemy is on yours. It can be one of those and probably a few more, but nevertheless, mine was Seekers. So I went to a uh, Uranus capture mission because they though it usually spawns about three or four seekers on there. You got to just keep killing them and keep killing them. I had to kill about 30 seekers to fill up that jar. And if your jar gets full but it won't progress to the next part of the quest, go play a mission on Phobos, and then Barrow should tell you that you need to return to the tomb. So once you fill up your jar, you will have to return to the tomb and open up a door by placing the sacred vessel there. And inside is another sacred vessel of course <laughs> you will also be attacked by a bunch of cavats and you will need to kill all of them before you can exit the tomb so the sacred vessel or the second sacred vessel is the same thing as the first one uh, my second one was Hayeka masters which you can find on Phobos of course they are the new uh, enemy type that was added in I had to kill probably 20 of these until my uh, sacred vessel was filled again once you fill it Barrow will tell you to return to the tomb once more, and you will open up the next chamber and get another sacred vessel. And you will be attacked by tomb guardians this time. I actually thought this fight was really fun. You have to kill these tomb guardians, and every time you kill one, it breaks up into two smaller ones until, of course, it gets to the smallest size, and then it actually dies. Very, very enjoyable fight, actually. So, my third sacred vessel... Uh, the target I got was the Denial Bursa. It is actually a specific Bursa. You have the Bursa icon, but it is only one of the three Bursa types that will count towards it. So for the Bursas, what I did is I went to a Neptune Exterminate mission, got the alarms triggered, and after that, a new Bursa should spawn every 100 seconds or so. You just kind of have to sit there and wait for the next Bursa to spawn. This is the easiest way to farm them. It took me maybe 15 or 20 minutes to get all of these Bursas farmed. So... Once you fill up your Sacred Vessel Barrel will prompt you to return to the tomb once more. You will go through the next door and don't freak out, it looks like you're picking up another Sacred Vessel, but in fact you will not have to fill it up again. You will then have to defeat the Tomb Guardian, who is actually in Naros. It's a really, really fun boss fight. I really enjoyed this. I hope they make more fights like this in the future. Nevertheless, once you defeat him, you will uh, get all of the Inaros parts in your foundry. They're actually called the Protector Parts, and you'll be able to craft them from there. So, overall, I enjoyed certain parts of this quest. I really, really hated filling up the Sacred Vessel. I thought it was a very repetitive grind that just wasn't enjoyable at all. Plus, after the update, there were some server issues, and I crashed after farming my Bursas, so I had to do that again. Like I said, the fights inside of the tomb were really enjoyable, tons of fun, and I hope that they do more stuff like that in the future. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like grading down below, and subscribe to see some more videos in the future. If you'd like updates on videos and other strange posts, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, at Guides for Us All, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.